Okay guys, so uh, you guys were kind of bugging me about the Chinese diesel heater in my boat. Well, it's starting to get chilly out now, so I had to set up the one I usually have in my shop. And you guys know how big my shop is. Big high ceilings, massive, right? But during the winter, even if it's like minus 15 out, it will still bring it up to like, well, if it's minus 15 outside, it usually gets, uh, doesn't usually get below zero in the shop, even if I don't turn the heat on. But my little Chinese diesel heater will always bring it up to like seven, eight, nine degrees. And that's just enough to work in. And uh, so I just set it up again right now because uh, Kyle wanted heat because we got to work on his car today. We got to do some inner tie rods, but here's, Here's my uh, Chinese diesel heater in my shop. Now I've had this for about four years. I've been running it and it's been absolutely fine. That's all I use because the gas in this place, that was costing me about 1200 a month to heat this place if I turn that thing on. So, because you know, you're gonna bring it up to heat or whatever, right? And that's a lot of gas, but this, I just turn it on when I, and point it to when I'm uh, working on a vehicle and it works mint. So this is how I got it set up. As I said, I've had this thing for about four years now and just an exhaust pipe, runs out the bottom of the door. Um, but yeah. Yeah, about four years I've had this now. It's got a different style remote they're all different but it's plain Jane that's all I need and uh, I use a battery just in case the hydro goes out uh, it doesn't overheat so if you're gonna use one of these I don't suggest using a power supply because if the power goes out this automatically shuts down and it's not able to go down go through a cool down period so you have to have a battery backup no matter what you know uh so i use a full-size battery because like say i'm at work and the hydro goes out in a snowstorm and i don't find it for you know six hours at least i have it still running and uh i don't have to worry about it overheating because of the instant shutdown but yeah that's just how i run it you can run a motorcycle trickle charger on it, anything you want, right? But I don't have to worry about it overheating if the power goes out. But yeah, it's the best way to do it. So you, now you know how I trust it in my boat is because I have literally never taken that apart to clean any carbon out of it. But it runs hot all the time. It's always pretty much at max, right? Um, but yeah, I've never done anything to it. I did buy extra pumps because the one year it wouldn't start up. Um, let me go through my junk pile. So, got an extra pump here. And I know I've got another extra pump in this junk box here yeah I know it's in there <laughs> yeah I know it's in there but yeah so yeah I do have a lot of faith in those uh, Chinese diesel heaters and that's been knocked off it stands, it's been knocked off the stands probably 10, 15, 20 times. <laughs> Takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. But the difference between this one and the one I got on the boat, this one's all aluminum. The one on the boat's got a plastic housing. But yeah. All right, cheers guys. So yeah, like, these Chinese diesel heaters are absolutely awesome. Um, you got a cabin up north or something like that? Throw one of those in, honest. Solar panel, 
12 volt battery you're golden it's the cheapest way to heat anything uh, well maybe not now <laughs> all right cheers guys have a great one